117,000 people were killed in Latin America and the Caribbean last year. That's a median homicide rate of 20 per 100,000. The highest murder rate in Central and South America was in Ecuador, followed by Venezuela, then Colombia. Notable Belize was out of the top 10 for the overall Latin America and Caribbean region last year, but is at number three in Central America. El Salvador, on the other hand, has fallen to the last spot in Central America. According to Insight Crime, Belize's homicide rate fell last year by 14.1% compared to the previous year, going from 25 to 21.5. Police Minister Karim Musa spoke about the figures. I believe we are number 14 now in Latin America and the Caribbean. Last year, for the first time, we came out of the top 10 and we're at 11. Uh, but as you would know, under the last administration, we were as high as number three and four on the most dangerous countries in Latin America. I am thankful that we have moved out uh, from that top 10 list. We're now at 14, and I look forward to be going even further down that list. Despite the recent spike of murders in Belize City, which led to a state of emergency being declared, the Commissioner of Police is hopeful that the violence figures will be reduced this month. Yes, we are hoping that um, we'll be able to level up um, by the end of the second quarter. So far for this year, murders are up by nine compared to last year. But when it compared to previous years, we're still down. Last year was a good year. Um, so what we need to do now is to ensure that we go to the drawing board, um, look at the area, and in this case, the, the area of concern is rural Belize district. Nine of the murders in Belize district or er, in the Eastern Division occurred in rural Belize. So we have to find a way that we will be able to address these type of crime. But when we also look at the, the, the motive behind these murders, Many of them were in a social setting or a domestic setting. The gang-related violence is still down tremendously, and we want to make sure that going um, further into the year that we can continue to keep it down. When we look at the overall crime outlook, major crime is down by 22% compared to last year. So as much as last year was a good year, we are still seeing that overall major crime is down this year, and we want to make sure that we continue to trend for the second year.